Hello everyone. In this INR number 43, we are going to discuss another important topic is medullary carcinoma of thyroid. So medullary carcinoma of thyroid, what is their origin? They originate from the parafollicular cells. These parafollicular cells are also called as C cells, which is present in the thyroid. Right. So these parafollicular cells or C cells, that is why medullary carcinoma thyroid is also known as C cell type of carcinoma. So remember this point. What is C cell type of carcinoma? It is another name for medullary carcinoma of thyroid. Right. So medullary carcinoma of thyroid is also known as C cell carcinoma. So what is the mostly they are? Mostly they are sporadic only. So when they are sporadic, they will be having unilateral. They will be having association with red proto-oncogene mutation. Remember, red proto-oncogene mutation is associated with sporadic also. Red proto-oncogene is also associated with familial condition also. That is very, very important. So now what I am saying that familial condition, they are associated with four important familial syndromes. One, Hippel-Lindau syndrome, neurofibromatosis, MEN2 syndrome, red proto-oncogene mutation. Right. So these are important things which are the association to the familial type of medullary carcinoma of thyroid. Von Hippel Lindau, neurofibromatosis, MEN2 syndrome, red proto-oncogene mutation. They are mostly having lymphatic spread. So most commonly, which, is, which type of spread? Lymphatic spread will be most common in medullary carcinoma of thyroid. And metastasis you will see most commonly in MEN2B. So MEN2B will be having most common incidence of metastasis in comparison to MEN2A because it will be associated with MEN2 syndrome, right? MEN2 syndrome. So both A and B are involved, but metastasis is more in B. So we can remember like this, B will be bad. B will be bad means more metastasis will be seen in men to B, right? So what we are going to see when you will take out the section from the thyroid lesion, you are going to see the histological examination will be looking like this, where you are observing, see the blue marked area, all these blue marked area, if you observe, these are the extracellular, acellular, pink amorphous material. So these extracellular, acellular, pink amorphous material is a amyloid. Right. And in between, you can see there are round polygonal tumor cells are there. So nests of polygonal tumor cells amidst the amyloid stroma can be seen. So we are seeing round oval polygonal tumor cells which are here. And then we are seeing amyloid stroma. And who is forming amyloid stroma? So remember, amyloid stroma is formed by altered calcitonin. That is why calcitonin is also considered as a tumor marker of medullary carcinoma of thyroid remember this was the question in fmg exam also and need pg exam also calcitonin is a tumor marker for which cancer it is a tumor marker for medullary carcinoma of thyroid right so how we will know that this is amyloid so this amyloid we can confirm by congo staining and congo staining by seeing polarized light we can see apple green by refrigerants so now you can see apple green birefringence is shown in all these areas and this will confirm the diagnosis of medullary carcinoma of thyroid. So keep revising this topic for your upcoming exam. Best wishes.